uh, two weeks in the book. What kind of progress are you seeing? I think we've made a lot of progress at this point. I think our guys are working hard. Uh, there's some new things being thrown at them, but I think they've had a good attitude. Uh, it's important that we you know, improve the overall depth. It's important that we improve the overall production when we're in there. Uh, more guys have to be ready to play. Uh, you can't just be you know, 11 on each side. It's got to be 22 plus if you can. And, and that's what we have to build here. So I think everybody's got to step up their level of play. We've got to step up our level of coaching, and hopefully we can improve each and every week. How's this getting the new defense in? Well, I think that part's gone really well. I think Coach Diaco and the staff uh, you know, are very structured in what they're doing. Uh, there's numerous meeting and walk-through time so that guys understand every step uh, along the way. And that uh, you know, we don't, We're able to play fast because we know where to be and where to go. Uh, before the ball and after the ball snap. I think we've really spent a lot of time doing that to this point, and that's been good to see. Today there was there was uh, uh, some, some positive work being done on that side of the ball. I thought they kind of maybe understood things a little bit better and were able to play faster and make more plays. So we just kind of have to push forward through that, but I do think uh, the staff has done a good job of uh, being very detailed in their explanation. Any clarity on the offensive line? Everything's still sort of a work in progress. Well, I, I think uh, you look at Grant Hermans. He has experience. We got to keep him healthy. I mean, uh, he's a, he's our best guy, and uh, he's got to he's got to be a dominant player for us, or at least work hard to get that done. I think um, when you look at the right sideline, Will Bramble and Eric Miller, both have gained experience. Uh, we continue to fight and battle for that spot. And, uh, we're able to uh, you know, get guys behind him better, but those three tackles right there need to be able to play at a, at a very good level for us. Um, you know, on the inside, I think, uh, you know, there's some youth there uh, with Cam Craig. Mark Stickford gives us some experience. Uh, you know, he's got to continue to get better and make sure that, you know, he improves his athleticism and his feet. Um, you know, the center position is, is one that Sam Garvin really stepped in last year and uh, you know, gave us great effort, played as hard as he could. And, gave us everything uh, he possibly could out of his body, and I thought he did a pretty good job. So he's kind of running with the ones right now. We've got to find some depth at that position. Right now, Spencer Holstead uh, is behind him, uh, and it's just going to be his really red shirt freshman year. He's, he's improved. He has to be able to go in there and play, and then Gus Hartwig uh, is, is in the mix as well at that position on the, on the, on the right side of the line. Kyle Jernigan uh, was with the ones. He's kind of been banged up and not out here lately. Uh, that's been disappointing because he's got a lot of strength. So we got to get him back out here. And then uh, DJ Washington um, you know, has athleticism, just the speed of the game and understand it. He's just got to continue to improve and work, work uh, hard at that. But you know, there's, there's plenty of work still to be done. But I, I think there's more bodies closer to getting to that point that we have to push through it. Are you happy with the quarterback so far? Well, right now, uh, you know, Aiden O'Connell and uh, Jack Plummer are two guys fighting for the position. Uh, both have done a pretty good job. I think uh, Jack, it's kind of like David Blau. I kind of had the David Blau surgery, and mm -hmm. David was able to do a lot of things, but not we didn't, we didn't do 11-on-11. 11 11. He hasn't been cleared to do that, so he has been out of that part. And Aiden O'Connell uh, has really uh, took a lot of the work uh, when we got to team settings, uh, in fact, about Paul Paveri. So, you know, those... Uh, Aiden and Jack have to continue to improve and be productive players and uh, hopefully be able to play at a level that David and Elijah did. Uh, what, what things are you doing to jumpstart that running game this year in the spring because you didn't really get a lot out of, out of that last year? Well, we're going to work hard at that and, uh, you know, basically spending more time on being physical up front, spending more time on making sure we are committing to running the ball and that we're finding ways to maybe mix in a few passes off of it in the run pass situation. But we, we have to, um, you know, take care of the football. We have to, uh, you know, make sure that it's a committed effort to run the ball. Uh, we've got to, you know, it's a team thing. we got to play better defense. So we don't throw it as much. we got to uh, control the clock and not turn it over so that we can run the ball and hit some play action. Uh, be good on special teams. But all things have to tie together. But, yes, the, the running game is critical. And we have to make sure that we improve in that aspect uh, all spring. Is, uh, is Jared Sparks out for the spring? Yes, Jared Sparks uh, uh, had foot slash ankle surgery, and he's out all spring. Okay. I mean, is, 
he's been battling that for, I don't know how well, long. Well, it was the other foot, actually. <laughs> was it? uh, it's unfortunate because, you know what, he was really making a lot of progress before he got hurt at the very beginning of last year. He really had a great spring, a great summer. Uh, for a guy who was learning the receiver position, he made great strides, and you know, he felt he had great promise. And unfortunately, he's had two injuries that have set him back considerably. And it's frustrating for him, I know. It's frustrating for all of us. But uh, we just got to get him healthy, and that's going to take all the way to the summer. Any surprises at all so far, Jeff, either personnel-wise or unit-wise, players that have maybe caught your eye or a unit that's played better than you anticipated? Well, I think, uh, you know, the, the normal crew of guys that have played well for us last year have okay. done a good job. Um, you know, Jalen Graham, I think, has had a good spring. Uh, he was up and down during the season a little bit just because a lot was thrown at him and he was young, but he seems like he's settling in, and he has to be a, a very, very good player for us. Uh, Demarcus Mitchell is someone we added to the mix that is big and strong, uh, looks the part, and while he's spent a little bit mentally, he's got yeah. ability, and he has to be a guy that can plug in right away and, and, and be productive. Uh, we've got to find ways to get better up front on defense. Uh, Jack Sullivan needs to emerge more. Mm -hmm. uh, gain weight and gain strength and make sure that he can be a viable option. Um, you know, I think Samizi is, is someone that didn't play a lot of the special teams early on and we got him in towards the end. He has to take this as a great opportunity to come out and be more of a dominant player. And that means getting his weight down, getting faster, getting sleek, making sure he can, you know, I think we've seen he can, he can hit and tackle. That's his strength. He's got to be able to run and play the pass and be able to change direction. That would be important. And then I think, you know, a couple of the young guys on in the secondary, Cam Allen, um, I think he has ability. He's got to get stronger. He's got to get in the weight room. He's got to uh, get physical. And then uh, Corey Trice is, is someone on the outside that has stood out as well. And it's just about being consistent for him. He hasn't played a lot of corner until we moved him there last year. So it's not like that was a position he's played his whole life. But I think he, he, is, he has looked good these first two weeks and needs to try to be a Richard Sherman dominant type corner, and that needs to be his goal, and that's 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 lofty expectations. But I, I do think he's, he's done a good job at this point. With uh, with Jalen Graham, is it just the experience now he's been here, or the fact that you've got him playing a little bit at linebacker and he's not moving positions very much? Well, it's a combination of all of those. He was mm -hmm. young last year. Uh, I mean, we play good opponents. Um, we struggled at other positions around him, so it's going to make him look not as productive. Uh, but, you know, he did. He played safety. He played nickel. Now he's kind of uh, locked in a little more into one slot uh, that I think he's getting comfortable with. Uh, you know, I think he's a good competitor, and uh, I'm looking forward to him having a bright future. I don't know if you can speak to this or not, but I figured I'd ask. What, are you doing things for this coronavirus as a, as a team? Well, you know, we, we've, we've talked about it, and we've taken all the precautionary methods with our training staff about sanitation or using sanitizer and, and keeping clean and uh, making sure we're on top of it. You know, I'm not an expert on it. Uh, it is something that's concerning, you know. Uh, Coach Barkley was going on a trip, Disney cruise on the spring break. I said, you might want to think twice about that. Uh, but, you know, we have to all do our part. And, uh, you know, you hope that they're able to find something to contain it and it doesn't get to us or anyone, really. Is that more of a message as you get closer to spring break where these guys go? Well, yeah, without question, once once we, we cut them loose for spring break, uh, they have to be smart and make sure that uh, they care for who they, where they go, who they encounter, and uh, that they are, you know, wash their hands and use uh, all the things they can to, to stay away from that. And you know, I, hope, I hope it works. Where are the Brahms going? Well, <laughs> you know what? Jefferson County? I, I wish I could uh, say we're going somewhere, you know, the – College spring break and the middle school spring break is different oh, unless yeah, you yeah, go to yeah, West Lafayette, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, which is where I live, but we, we don't go there, so uh, we miss out on that. So I'll be here in the office. Are, is Aiden O'Connell and Garvin, are they on scholarship? Uh, Aiden O'Connell has been put on scholarship. Sam Garvin, uh, okay. the future looks bright, let's put it that way. Okay. Uh, and uh, he's definitely uh, earned his stripes, and uh, he's definitely somebody that. You know, it's going to be a big part of our offense and we'll be taken care of. Has anybody else been put on scholarship? Um, Thieneman said he was last year. Brennan. Yeah, yes. Brennan. Uh, well, 
I couldn't rather, think of Rather recently, I, I know um, Alfred Armour's on scholarship. Oh, he's on okay. scholarship, okay. Good for him. So, Where'd you put Aiden on? I don't know the exact date. Okay. Hmm. Was it before last season? I can't remember the exact date. <laughs> I was hoping there'd be a big, uh, <laughs> big window there that you would have, you would. Nice, remember. good for those guys.